Hello Digital DJ Tips, it's Phil here again with another really fast Tuesday Tips Live. So this is all about getting noticed and about a way of getting noticed that so few DJs use. It's really, really easy and if you're not doing it, you ought to be doing it. So listen up, I'm going to ask you to do something at the end as well. So many years ago, I remember a, uh, a journalist being interviewed about, he was a pop music journalist and he was being interviewed um, about uh, interviewing pop stars and he said look it's really important that us journalists are, are personalities and are larger than life and like I've got a lot to say because most of the pop stars that we interview are so boring so to make our interviews interesting we've got to be the interesting ones and I thought rubbish and then I looked at the um, the NME which is a music paper in the United Kingdom um, and all the people interviewing the pop stars were really interesting they were larger than life and I thought god the guy's right uh, and this kind of stuck in my head all these decades and it's totally relevant today for DJs so this is the the tip today if you want to be um, um, someone who gets noticed uh, and therefore over time gets more gigs gets more bookings gets more success you need to be more than just a DJ you need to be more than someone who's just known for the music that they play being known for the music you play is not enough there's a DJ there's a DJ there's a DJ there's a DJ what else are you gonna do what else are you gonna be known for that separates you from all those other DJs so for instance in my case I am a DJ I've been a DJ all my life I'm also an author <laughs> I've written this book uh, which means I'm a teacher, right? That's what I do. This website is about teaching. And I'm also a businessman. I, I, we, we have 10 people in our team here at Digital DJ Tips. So I've got these three things. DJ, teacher, businessman, right? So I've got this thing going on that means that there's not many people like me out there. Thank, thank the Lord for that, eh? But what's your thing? You know, you might love that you might be a complete expert, a complete um, freak about a certain kind of movie, a horror film freak, or you might be a... Um, you might absolutely know everything there is to know about a TV series or a soap opera. There might be some kind of ethnic cooking that you're completely crazy about. There might, you might be wrestling or photography or, you know, video gaming or, um, what is it? What is it about you that separates you from everyone else apart from the fact that you love DJ? We all get that. We all get you a DJ or a producer. Yeah, that's taken as red. But what else is it about you? And once you kind of like, got one or two extra things about you that you're happy to share with the world, do it. You know, social media is a good place to do it. You might have some channels on social media that are pure music, DJing, production, this is what I do, and other channels where you open up a bit and you share a bit more of yourself because this is all about building an audience. And over time, you'll build a bigger audience by showing more of yourself. You know you're an awesome person. You know there's a lot going on in your life. You know there's a lot about you, and your friends do as well. But no one else does. So it's up to you to share a bit more. And trust me, over time, you will be uh, a bigger, more rounded, more 3D person because of that. And you'll get more success. So um, social media is one way of doing it. If you're really into something, podcasting is another way. I was reading about um, a, a singer here in the UK called Jessie Ware. She's, she's reasonably popular. Um, she does a, a podcast where she cooks. She cooks for people who come on her podcast and they talk food. And that's kind of what she does. That's cool, right? You're a pop star, but you're also, you know, into chatting over over food with people. And that's her podcast. She doesn't podcast about music. So you see what I'm getting at here. What can you add in to what you do that will make you more interesting? So what I want you to do is tell me below, what is it that you do, you, that isn't music, that isn't DJing? You're here because of DJing and music, right? What else do you do? What's your hobby? What's the extra thing you can bring to the table? And why don't you... Post something about it on your social media channel. Why don't you let your audience know about that as well? And just see the reaction you get from people if you're not talking about the same stuff. It will help to differentiate you from other people and it will help you to, over time, and this does take time by the way, over time become a more rounded person and someone who gets noticed a lot more. So there's your Tuesday tip for today. Don't just chat on about music. Be a bit more rounded. Share your other stuff in your life with your audience and you might just find that your audience grows and notices you a hell of a lot more because of opening up that extra bit. Uh, so I want to say hello to the uh, to the crowd who are piling in for this uh, webinar. Uh, lots and lots of thumbs going up. Hello to Steve. Hi to Joey. Uh, hi to all of the team actually who are popping in from Digital DJ Tips right now. Hi to um, 
uh, Swapnil, who says, I'm into, I'm into uh, digital marketing as well. You know, we're into a lot of stuff that's predictable, aren't we, right? Of course, we're going to be good marketers. It's great to share that we do that stuff as well. There's an awful lot of people who are real IT nerds in our audience as well, I've noticed. Uh, lots of you giving thumbs up to this idea as well of sharing uh, sharing stuff outside of who we are. Uh, also, a lot of you actually just saying, tell me more about the book. Uh, the book is on Amazon. In fact, I have the link somewhere, he said. There you go, djtips.co slash book. You can get that. It is actually an Amazon bestseller. So if you do want to hear what we've got to say about DJ, it's a reasonable place to start. Uh, and uh, that's it for today. Thank you, everyone, for saying hello. No time to read everyone out, uh, but uh, it's great to have you here. Uh, and I will see you again next week for another Tuesday Tips Live.